Am I audible? Yes, sir. The screen is visible to you. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Now today we'll start with the overcurrent relay. Overcurrent relay. So you can say that uh, this overcurrent relay is actually it has a single input in the form of the AC current. Single input in the form of the AC current and output. Output are actually the normally open contacts. Normally open contacts and these normally open contacts, these changes to the closed state. changes to the closed state when relay trips when relay trips so you can say that relay has two types of contacts in that this kind of relay it has two types of contacts that is two types of settings let us suppose that we have this relay, time over current relay. Then you can have the input current. Then you have two settings are there. One is known as the time setting. And second is known as the plug setting. And this is the trip to output that is normally open contacts. You can say that normally open contacts. So we can have two times uh, types of settings in the relay. One is known as the time setting and other one is known as the plug setting. Now, this time setting, what the time settings will uh, it will do, it will decide the time operating time of the relay. This time setting, it will decide the operating time of the relay. And second one is the plug setting. This second one is the plug setting. So it decides the current required for the relay to operate. So first one is the time setting. It decides the operating time of the relay. After that, after how much time the relay will operate. And second one is the plug setting. And the plug setting is actually decides the current required for the relay to operate. Now, 
if you take the case of the plug setting, plug setting actually the name, it comes from the electromechanical overcurrent relay. That is conventional relay. So it, this name comes from the electromechanical overcurrent relay. In this electromechanical overcurrent relay, we have to insert a small plug, shorting plug in the plug setting bridge so that we can change the number of turns of the operating coil. So what we have to do in case of electromechanical relay, we have to insert a shorting plug in plug setting bridge we have to insert a shorting plug in the plug setting bridge to change the number of turns of the operating coil To get a particular value of pickup, pickup means the current. To get a particular value of the pickup, that is the current. And still we are using that particular terminology. So that's why it is known as plug setting. It actually uh, decides the current which is required for the relay to operate. Now, in terms of the overcurrent relay, one more terminal, uh, one um, um, this. Uh, you can say one multiplier, one definition has been frequently, it is being used, that is the plug setting multiplier. So plug setting multiplier it is defined as relay current divided by the plug setting piece so it is actually the ratio of the relay current that is i relay and the plug setting now the question arises that what is this relay current what is this relay current it is the current it is the current through the relay operating coil it is the current through the relay operating coil that what is the actual current that is flowing through the relay operating coil and this is actually plug setting is the ps is actually the plug setting it is actually the whatever the current setting we have given it is, is also known as the current setting so this is known as the current through the relay operating coil i relay and this is the what the current setting that we have used that is and this PSM, that is the plug setting multiplier as a whole, it gives us, uh, it tells us about the severity of the current as seen by the relay. So what is the severity of the current which is as seen by the relay it means let us suppose that what we have done we have particular setup value of the current that is the current setting that is already set and this is 
I relay whatever the current which is flowing through that particular relay. So if this I relay is greater than plug setting, that is current setting, that is you can say that if PM PSM is greater than one, then there is the fault in the system. there is the fault in the system and if it is equals to one then normal load current is flowing and if it is less than one then in that very case it is the normal operation it is due to the fact that I relay is actual current, relay current that is flowing and plug setting is actually the setting that we have given in there. So higher the value of PSM, higher the current relay that is flowing through it, through the relay, actual current that is flowing through the relay, which is much greater than the current setting that we have used. So which is much greater than the current setting that we have used. So this is about the plug setting multiplier. Now let us take a small example. If you take the case, let us suppose, let us consider a one ampere relay. Let us consider a one ampere relay. That is the relay which is designed for to carry the current of one ampere. So let us consider the one ampere relay on continuous basis and whose plug setting, let us suppose that whose plug setting is 0 0.5 ampere. That is our relay is one ampere relay. However, the plug that we have set is 0.5 ampere. That is we have set it at 0.5 ampere that is 50%. Now, let us assume that certain fault occurs, that certain fault occurs and relay current is 5 ampere. Then that very case, if you see the PSM is equals to whatever the relay current, actual current, 5 ampere divided by the plug setting that we have used, that is 0.5 which is equals to 10. So this is about, uh, you can say that this is the basic principle of any overcurrent relay. And we have the PSM is always, plug setting multiplier has always been used in that. This uh, you can say that this overcurrent relay. Now this, if you take the case of this overcurrent relay, then this overcurrent relay is the cheapest and simplest protection system. Overcurrent relay is the cheapest and simplest protection and this can be used for transmission line and the distribution feeders. So this can be used for the protection of this transmission line and the distribution feeders. So this is about this overcurrent relay. Now, what are the different types of the overcurrent relay? Now, what are, uh, whenever we are using this overcurrent relay, 
whenever we are using uh, this over current relay we have particular set of uh, the contacts uh, uh, which are used for uh, uh, for getting the information for the over current relay that is s1 and s2 is used for the secondary current coil current transformer and p1 and p2 I use for the secondary of the PT. Now, what are the, this is the basic concept that is we have discussed a box and uh, a, within that particular block, we have time setting and the plug setting. This time setting actually decides the what relay to operate and we we can have one more term that is the plug setting multiplier which is used for all the over current type of so you can say that this relays has input current time setting and plug setting and, and normally open contacts now this uh, types of over current relay there are different types of over current relay so we can discuss so, if you take the case of this overcurrent relay, we can have the different type of overcurrent relay. That is, we can have generally we classified the overcurrent relay into four types. It can be classified into four types. Now, first one is the instantaneous overcurrent relay. Then you can have definite minimum time overcurrent relay. Then you can have inverse time over current relay. And next we can have inverse definite inverse definite minimum time over current relay. This definite minimum time over current relay, we can also call it as DMT. And inverse definite minimum time over current relay, we can call it as IDMT. So let's first discuss the instantaneous over current relay. First one is the instantaneous overcurrent relay. Now you can say that this kind of relay, it operates instantaneously without any intentional time delay. It 
it operates instantaneously without any time delay so it operates instantaneously without any time delay and in practice you can say that it can it uh, any uh, no delay can operate the, at that but in very small amount of time or zero time you can say so it will take about 20 to 40 milliseconds time to operate and one more point is that in this kind of relay now i have uh, uh, in the pre in this uh, i i discussed about we have two types of settings one is known as time setting second one is known as the flux setting and this is the input current now anyone can tell me that which setting is not required in this kind of relay that is which kind of setting time is setting sir uh, which 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 kind of relay which setting time setting sir yeah time setting is not required because it is a instantaneous relay so in this kind of relay no time setting is required and this kind of relay it can be realized or it can be made with the various construction philosophies that is attracted armature type induction disk type or induction cup type that we can discuss induction disk type and cup type so these are the few important points related to this in a stainless overcurrent relay now we can say that in a stainless overcurrent relay that is this kind of relay uh, you can say that there is no intentional time delay in that kind of relay however how fast we want to operate that relay it needs certain a minimum amount of uh, time and uh, the as already i stated that uh, the Uh, this uh, instantaneous and uh, the time is in the milliseconds nearly about 20 to 40 milliseconds and uh, uh, such a relay has only this uh, pickup setting that is the current setting there is no time setting in that um, and uh, if you take the case of if you draw the construction part of that type of relay let us suppose that we can have we can draw that relay and we can have the basic philosophy of that other induction cup and disk type we can discuss later on we can have the basic philosophy of that and we can have also the characteristics of that particular relay so this is the operating time this is the you can say the current or you can say it is the um, this uh, multiple of pickup current so if we draw a graph between this operating time and multiple of the pickup current can anyone can tell me that what 
how it the graph would be based on the characteristics how the graph would be let us suppose that we have this pickup value is here we have the pickup value that is setting current setting can anyone can tell me that how the graph would be graph kis tarah se hoga koi bata sakta hai any idea exponential type no no not it should not be exponential kyunki ye to isme to time ka koi wo hi nahi hai कांस्टेंट सर रहेगा अगर आप सो कैसे आएगा किस तरह से आएगा एनी आइडिया इसमें क्या होगा सपोज अलोंग अलोंग द वाई एक्सिस सर या या लॉग द राउंड द वाई एक्सिस सो इट शुड बी लाइक दैट कि पिक अप वैल्यू में क्या होगा जैसे हमारी पिक अप वैल्यू होगी देन इन दैट वेरी केस इट वुड बी Somewhat like that. Is it okay? Because what happens? Operating time. We have no operating time here, so the time is not the factor. So operating time in that very case is fixed. Okay. So with the increase in the current, the operating time in that very case is actually fixed. So this is the graph of this instantaneous overcurrent relay or instantaneous overcurrent relay. characteristics in that very case we have fixed operating time that is operating time after the pick up value that is whatever value we have set it becomes constant so we can say the graph would be like that and if we consider the conceptual if we draw the conceptual part of that that is this uh, instantaneous overcurrent relay then you can say that we have the this hinge is there this is the core this is hinge that is there is the movement of that particular portion and that is connected to some trip contacts and this is the current which is coming from ct secondary and it is actually connected to the spring so because of this you can say that because of this current you can say the flux is produced because of this current the flux is there and this current is actually coming from the ct secondary it is connected to this contacts and this is actually movement this hinge is there connect attracted to the this is actually the uh, um, you can say uh, the armature of uh, the relay it gets attracted towards the coil this get attracted towards the coil and uh, as a result you can say the air become, become air gap becomes uh, uh, smaller because of that and the reluctance becomes smaller, uh, smaller. and you can say that this results in the increased flux because when the reluctance is reduced then in that very case the flux would be increased which causes a force on the armature to uh, build up that is as you know that force is proportional to the uh, this uh, square of uh, you can say flux density 
and this positive feedback action results in the armature moving quickly towards the for this snap action and as a result it will it will be and thus you can say that the it will be crimped so it means that this is hinge is connected to that and when the current is flowing through and flux is there the reluctance uh, because of that because of this uh, induction effect the reluctance is reduced and as a result this uh, effect will uh, keep on increasing and as a result we are getting this action and as a result we will have the trip context so this is the basic philosophy of this instantaneous overcurrent relay now one more point related to the this instantaneous uh, overcurrent relay as you know the fact that uh, uh, pickup value or plug setting exceeds the value then the relay operates within some specific uh, time period and that is actually instantaneous in nature so you can say that the relay operates instantaneously if the current exceeds that pickup uh, value now second point is that one is the pickup value second point is that is the drop off to pickup ratio of the relay so second is the drop of or the pickup ratio of the relay so let us suppose that whatever the relay is actually available in the market it has some pickup value and uh, that is pickup value as you already know that pickup value this uh, value setting of the current that we have set for particular operation and it all it has also some drop off value so it has one more term that is the drop off value now the drop off value is the value when the current get disconnected it is the value when the current get disconnected uh, and what would be the value at a particular point of time is known as the that drop of uh, value and uh, whenever we design any relay or whenever any manufacturer design any kind of instantaneous uh, relay it tries to maintain the drop off to pick up ratio greater than the 90% so Uh, whatever the uh, relays that are available with us it has uh, the value of nearly about 95 to 97% it has 95 to 97% so this is about the instantaneous overcurrent relay that is uh, the details of this uh, instantaneous uh, overcurrent relay that what's the this instantaneous overcurrent relay is all about there is no if anyone asks that what is the instantaneous overcurrent relay then you can say simply say that in instantaneous overcurrent relay so uh, you can have uh, uh, it has uh, only you can say plug setting no time setting is that that in instant operation is there so now uh, you can say uh, uh, in instantaneous overcurrent relay it is rarely used it is alone this relay is rarely used it is rarely used however let us suppose that uh, any relay we are using most of the relay nowadays it is provided with inbuilt inbuilt instantaneous overcurrent relay in instantaneous overcurrent relay which is also known as ihu and having the you can say having the setting value normally uh, from 400% to 2000% 
of the rated uh, of the to 2000 percent of the iron and iron what is iron in that very case iron is nothing but the relay rated current it is called the relay relay rated current So this is instantaneous overcurrent. Uh, uh, this inbuilt instantaneous overcurrent relay is unit. U stands for unit. Is always there in uh, maximum of the relay nowadays. And having uh, setting normally from 400 to 2000 percent of the iron, where iron is nothing but the relay rated uh, current. And uh, mm, then the rated current of the relay, as you already know the fact that the rated current of the relay is uh, nearly is about is one ampere and this uh, five from that is a country of the ct is a one ampere or five ampere so this is about the instantaneous overcurrent relay now the questions uh, that uh, uh, that anyone can ask related to this uh, you can say that uh, uh, some of the questions i will write so that any First one is that, what is the basic principle of overcurrent relay? Then you can have, what are different settings of overcurrent relay? Then application of the overcurrent relay. Then you can have the types. Then you can have what is plug setting and plug setting multiplier and its significance. That what is the significance of the plug setting multiplier? that it is it gives us the severity if it is greater than one then definitely then you can have one what is the uh, instantaneous overcurrent relay then you can have the time versus current graph of over instantaneous overcurrent relay and in this case which setting we neglect in instantaneous overcurrent relay which kind of setting that we can neglect now and now one more question anyone can ask that can this kind of relay be used alone alone or unison So these are the type of questions that anyone can ask related to this and this uh, instantaneous overcurrent relay. So any questions related to that? Sir, basic principle, what do you think? 